All right, guys, welcome back to another video, Shaman J. So this is the Nothing Phone One, and I finally get, got my hands on it. Uh, pretty eclectic box. Uh, it's super thin. Really didn't know what to expect from this um, boxing experience. But we're gonna go ahead and crack this open. There's a little red tab there, I guess, to um, to go ahead and pull it open. This is the eight gig, two fifty six gig version. Um, it comes in different versions. Apparently, there's a twelve gig version as well. This has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery inside, 1080 by 2400, 6.55 inch display, 50 megapixel shooter on the back, uh, and you've got, it comes in a white color too, uh, but you've got a 120 hertz display, HDR10 plus 700 peak nit brightness, uh, so that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Uh, you've got Snapdragon 778G, 5 nanometer, oh, excuse me, 6 nanometer chip with 5G. Android 13 and OS 1.53, probably out of the box, but you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to definitely, pretty pretty cool unboxing experience. I'm not gonna front. That's that's a pretty cool unboxing experience. I didn't really know what to expect on here, so um, I guess you could slide this whole thing out, or you could pull right here, uh, and you got some accessories. Looks like yeah, these are the accessories. Uh, let's see what we got here. This this is actually a pretty cool unboxing experience. So you've got a SIM tray tool right there. This has got to be a cool SIM tray tool. It's like a little see-through, clear-looking tool, SIM tray tool. That's pretty cool, man. I mean, they've done, obviously, they've done some research on getting the oohs and ahs out of people. Uh, and then you've got your cable down here, Type-C to Type-C, and that's ultimately it. I don't need to really want to mess with any of this stuff right here. I want to get to the actual phone. And unfortunately, you know, there's no no charging brick in here. So uh, let's pull here. Really good unboxing experience. I'm impressed so far. Okay, so let's go here. Pretty cool. And then go here. This is the way it's the arrows tell you to do it. Uh, this is actually a cool looking phone in person whoa this is actually really cool in person folks i didn't know what to expect uh and i am impressed with this build quality so far i gotta grab the phone that i think most represents how this phone feels and uh, it's starting up here so while that's booting up let me get the phone that i think most represents how this phone feels in the hand I mean, literally, it'll probably be about the same size. That's, that's incredible. This is what this phone feels like in the hand. It's just that this one's a little bit wider. Yeah, they're close in size. Uh, this is impressive. This one feels better in the hand because it's not as wide. Uh, but check that out. That is impressive. This is a great. This is a great design, man. This is pretty cool. So um, again, my first impressions of this, this feels exactly like an iPhone uh, 14 plus, man. It is, this feels identical. I mean, it is impressive to say the least. This obviously looks a heck of a lot better. That is impressive. All right, so you've got this clear back design here, transparent, uh, and obviously these lights and things are on here, but you got the power button here. Um, and you've got your volume here, you got your type C and the SIM tray is on the bottom down there. Uh, and it's, I like the little design, the little thing they got, the little animations is super nice, man. Got a real picture of the phone on there. That's a nice startup. Obviously you got some antenna lines, microphone on top. So let's go next here and it tells you to check the network. I'll skip that for now. Uh, and then I'll connect to Wi-Fi. You'll see Williams mesh system pop up here in just a second. There it is. All right, let me go ahead and get this hooked up real quick. There we go. <sighs> this is really, really, this is such beautiful hardware. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about the black color, but wow, this is stealth mode. This is beautiful, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful phone, man. The hardware on here, as I get into my first impressions here, the hardware is freaking crazy. It is a better feeling iPhone 14 Plus. Lightweight, and you know how lightweight the iPhone 14 Plus is? This is even lighter. I mean, this is just, just great, man. I, I just can't believe how nice this is. 
Um, but wow, man, I'm going to get this, let it set up here. But again, the, the, the matte aluminum sides here is just perfect, in my opinion, uh, all the way around. It is just really nice. And again, the, the star of the show, obviously, is going to be this transparent back here. Uh, it is just a sight for sore eyes, man. I hate to sound so cliche, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful piece of hardware. It is on point. It is on point. I might have to skip this. And it's taking a long time. Sometimes this goes fast. Sometimes it doesn't. But while I'm on here, man, the, the screen is super dark. I mean, the the blacks on the screen is so black. It is it's just as good as a phone with it being off. Like I turn this off. Look at how dark that is in comparison. That is a beautiful, beautiful dark screen. I mean, this is a nice OLED display so far. Wow. This is crazy nice. So um, maybe I'll go back and skip this uh, for now because this is going to take set up offline. It's going to take some time. Sometimes it, it, it takes a long time. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's do this. Do this. I will skip that. Skip it for now. And see if we can get you into the home screen. We'll agree to the terms. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. And here it is, man. Look at how beautiful this is. Check this out. Introducing Glypes. <laughs> it's crazy. That is just super nice. In the back, that is just crazy. So you, it's showing you how you can navigate here. Um, really, really nice. And you're into welcome. That is very iPhone-ish, because when you start up, when you start up an iPhone, you have to. Okay, yeah. This, let me see if it'll let me take a screenshot. It let me take it. So, um, swiping away here. There it is. This is what you're faced with when you first get this out of the box. This is how it is. Really, really, man. This display is so beautiful in person. I cannot stress it enough. I'm going to go ahead and see what the brightness level is. And it's way down. Let's give it a little bit more juice on the brightness. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, boy. In person, this is an absolutely phenomenal display. I've been slipping by not checking this phone out. My bad to my subscribers. A lot of you guys have recommended that I check this phone out. And I have been slipping. But before we get into the actual OS and everything, let's swipe down here. You can see this is how the toggles are. Uh, very, very familiar. You can see this. I, one thing I like about this one is it comes default with night mode or dark mode on. So let's turn it off and swipe up, and you can see this is how it looks. So yeah, that is that is really nice that it comes default with dark mode turned on. I like that, man. And you can see the difference here in that area. Uh, but these are the default things we got going on here for the phone just by default. NFC is on by default. Uh, and things like that. So swiping over, nothing. You got your feed on this side, looks like. All right, it was there. <laughs> now it's not there anymore. So we'll swipe up, and this is how it comes to you. Now I'm going to go ahead and go out of here, and I'm going to long press and see if I can get this home screen to where I like it with five across. Uh, and it looks like for now that might not be an option, but let's go ahead and go into settings and go to display, and we'll see. First, let's get into the this right here. Okay, so it is on. Boom, there it is right there. It just it just flashed on me so there we go wow that's beautiful that is a beautiful look right there i mean that's so you got notification sounds yeah okay uh, let's select one here oh that's nice let me go through it like this for you beautiful so you got those three here it's, it's 10 of them That one's nice, man. That is Isolator. That was nice. Kind of lame. So it looks like Isolator is the one that I actually like. And it shows you what they look like on the front here, if you're wondering. That's actually pretty discreet. I like that one. And this one right here. Let's go with Volley. Let's, let's, oops, need to save it. 
Let's go, wow, we'll save that. And that is how you'll use this. You got your charging meter, uh, Google Assistant on, flip to, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And then we've got bedtime uh, scheduling. You can do it that way as well. So now let's get it down to the display and let's see if we can get this thing to get into something that's um, definitely uh, more than that. So we'll go to, uh, no, we'll go to screen size and we'll shrink it down and we'll see if that'll help me get five across. Let's see here. Nope, we are stuck with four across, folks. That is a freaking bummer because I do not like four across. That's gotta be probably a, a downside for me already. I don't like four across. Um, I just, I don't like four across. I love five across. So in the, in, in the, in the comment section for you out there who already have this phone, tell me some tips and tricks to get this to display in uh, five across. I gotta have five across. So it comes default on the high, which is 120 Hertz. That's really good. Uh, really nice screensaver mode. Got a screensaver mode clock. Okay, cool, cool. When to start. Let's see, while charging and docked. All right, so it shows you what it looks like. Pretty cool. I like, I like. Oh, there you go. All right, so we're gonna go out and go back to settings. So this is what the settings look like. Default settings, uh, nothing major here. A really nice stock Android-esque type of uh, setting going on here. So we'll go into uh, connected devices. And you already know you have NFC, which is nice. That comes standard default on, obviously, Bluetooth, casting, printing, all the basic stuff, nearby share, Android Auto, all there uh, for you to love. Uh, and you've got, obviously, got Wi-Fi, you got hotspot, tethering, VPN, um, all there. So uh, I'll be testing that as well. So battery life here, it comes standard. Let's show the percentage. It comes with a 4,500 milliamp hour battery inside. And when you first get a device, obviously, it's going to be... Uh, you know, a lot. The battery might drain a little bit sooner when you first get it because you're going to be on it a whole bunch. Uh, but man, this is this is an absolute beautiful setup here so far. This hardware alone. I'll get into the battery later after using this for a while. So 256 gigs of storage on this bad boy with nothing on the device. Uh, you're looking at about 21 gigs of system usage, uh, and you see how much you have left there. Uh, so it's going to be really nice. Um, I think it's going to be extremely nice with how, how these, these sounds are. Uh, the speaker on here apparently is really nice. It's a nice, it's a nice sound. It's a nice, bright, uh, bright vivid, sharp. Uh, I, I like the, how loud the speaker is on here. And let me check to see if this has stereo speakers or not. My little cheat sheet sound. Yeah, it has stereo speakers. That's probably why it sounds so good. You've got a little slit up here, and you've got that bottom firing speaker down there, which is really, really nice. I'm feeling this so far. So obviously, just the basics in here. Let's see, under security, I didn't set up a fingerprint or pin or anything, but you've got screen lock. Let's see what kind of you have. Swipe, pattern, pin, and password. Uh, and then you have face unlock, which is really nice. I'm, I'm feeling it, and you got fingerprint, obviously. So let's go ahead and set up fingerprint real quick here. Our little default pin that we use. Uh, don't show notifications. Uh, and set up. Let's see here. Uh, so right away, I think the location of this fingerprint reader on the screen is really low. Just like I think some of the Samsung ones are kind of low. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, you, you definitely need to hold this with uh, probably the right hand like position in order to get this to where you want it to where uh, it's, I like their fingerprint animation. Though. I'm not going to front. It's the setup process. It's very detailed. Looks like it's getting everything it wants and then done. So now uh, show icon. There we go. We can do that. And let's test it out. There it is. And it's pretty, it's pretty secure. It's pretty secure. So let's check for a security update. Obviously, there's one. Wow, there is a lot going on with it right out of the box. Obviously, this has been sitting for a while. This is a major OS update, too. This is not just anyone. This is 2.3 gigs. So this is taking it way up. So let's see where the phone is actually sitting right now before we get into that. So we'll go to about. Uh, and it is sitting at... Uh, Android 12. So that's why. So this is sitting at Android 12. Uh, and so that's why this is um, 
going, doing this major update like this. So 2.3 gigs is taking it up to the big boy more than likely, Android 13 shares here. So that's cool, we'll let that install. And for now, also let's get into, now also let me go back in here and check for bloatware. See any bloatware? No Facebook, so that's cool. Uh, it's got a recorder there, I like that. Uh, but basically a stock Android device. Okay, nice. All right, so let's get into the wallpapers on here. We'll go to customize, and you've got scrolling wallpaper, enable wallpaper, scroll on the homepage, yes. Icon pack, you can change those. Uh, you can add more, obviously, here. I like that. Now, wallpaper style. Here's what we get into. Uh, and before we do that, you can see it does have the themed icons, or will have the theme icons after that update, more than likely. So uh, here's the nothing wallpapers. So these are, so, oh, oh, yeah, this is, this is, this is really nice. Right away, that's a beautiful wallpaper, and there is a lot to love about their wallpapers already. So let's go back in and customize, and let's look for, for some more wallpapers here. Go into the nothing ones. You can see all these, this is the default one that it came with, and you have these other ones here. So uh, pretty pretty cool uh, that they, they have some nice ones already on the device. That is actually pretty cool. And you got this nice uh, purple flower theme going on back there, but we'll stick with this one. And you have all these other ones from Google. So we'll stick with the default ones from, um, from uh, I was gonna say OnePlus, oh Lord, uh, from nothing. So this is the device right here. Let's crack open the camera and see, what are we working with on the camera here? You've got a 50 megapixel uh, main shooter and a 50 megapixel ultra wide. You've got HDR on here, 4K 30, 1080p up to 60. And on the front, you've got a 16 megapixel that goes up to um, 1080p 30. Uh, you don't need my location. So, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple of test shots, but I wanna go through this and show you exactly what the phone is actually offering at this second. So we'll swipe down here first. You can see it's set to 12. Now it's set to 50 megapixel ultra. Uh, let me grab something here. I, this is actually just sitting here. It's one of my business credit cards. So you can see here, I'll just take a quick photo of that. All right, pretty decent shutter. Uh, but you can see here, John Williams, smartphone convo, business plus. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent camera so far. Zooming in on the detail there, it looks pretty doggone good. Yeah, I just happen to have my, one of my business cards sitting there, so boom, there we go. Um, a quick 50 megapixel shot, and you know what, let's go back to that and let's swipe up. You can see here the details of that, 8192 by 6144, 11 megabytes for that photo, shot at f1.9. Uh, and man, this is this is a decent camera. I'm I'm not gonna front. This is a decent camera. So you do have you do you can go wide with the 50 megapixels. So that's pretty nice. So let's go over to see what else is next here. You've got video, and it comes standard at 1080p 60. So let's change that to 4K, and then it goes default to 4K 30 because it cannot do 4K 60. Kind of a bummer. And you got 720p and so on. So let's um take a look at what's next you got slow motion you've got uh portrait here as well here's your portrait shot that's pretty cool i'm gonna sneak off camera here and take a take a portrait shot one second portrait shots are actually really good folks i know on camera it's kind of hard to see let me lower the brightness down as low as i can do so you can kind of see that photo uh, it just doesn't do it any justice uh i'll post i'll do a camera review for sure folks this is this is a very nice camera. Let me just get the brightness back up for you here. This is a very nice camera, very, very nice. So you go to more here and you have uh, time-lapse, pano, macro, and expert shot. So uh, just knocking down the basics on here, man. My first impressions of this device, oh my goodness, I can't wait to get signed in, get some apps on here. I love it, man. I, again, I'm slipping, folks. I'm slipping, let me clean it up real quick. Oh, shirt action. Ah, look at that. I'm slipping because this is actually a really solid looking device, man. And I think the question for a lot of people is, where does it fit in at? What do you compare this to? Well, I've gotten to the point where I don't compare so much internals on a device. I wanna see what it's offering. And right off the rip, this hardware is definitely one of a kind. This isn't the first transparency style back I've seen on a device, but this one is absolutely beautiful. This has gotta be one of the most beautiful devices in person. Now I told you it feels like a 14 plus. It's more narrow than the 14 plus 
and it's more lightweight than the 14 plus but it ultimately feels the same this is a beautiful beautiful setup right here man one uh, I keep okay nothing one <laughs> you know what i was gonna say nothing one you knocked it out the park with this one i'll leave a link to where, where to get this down below this is from wirelessplace.com i appreciate them sending this over for me to check it out long time coming i've been waiting to get this device this is beautiful so one more time before we get out of here let's check that um let's put in our little default pin here let's go to settings because we got that major update coming in and let's go to about and you can see here it is running eight gigs of ram you can see the model number serial number battery nothing one all this that's all going to change once I, I just love how they're doing this when they picked a picture of the phone uh but um i i really i'm i'm really really feeling uh this this device man I, it's it's such a hit so far right out of the gate um i'm shocked that i'm this impressed with it because I've been testing and using my Pixel 7a, and I mean, this is hot right here, man. This is, to me, another direct competitor. A lot of people are saying put it against the A54. The A54 is nice, but the A54 can't keep up with the 7a. This phone, however, more than likely can. So we're going to put this through the paces, too. Uh, I'll be following up with the 7a content, too, but I got to start you know, getting this one down, getting my apps on here. Really banging out that camera. Man, the camera's on here. The cameras are sweet. I didn't know how I was going to feel about it, but the cameras on here are great. Well, it's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed first impressions of the Nothing Phone 1. Whoa, this is actually really, really solid. This video is recorded with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed first impressions of the Nothing 1 phone. Wow. It's pretty nice. I'm impressed. Link down below. Grab yours if you want to. Shaman J. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.